the finals before out here on the tour. Well, Greg Nelson challenged a little bit last year, but was absent this year until today. He lives in Seattle. He's got a lot of hometown fans here. Let's see how he can perform for them. Nice shot of that back-to-front roll for Greg Nelson. Greg told me before that he's been training really hard. He really wants to impress people. He wasn't out here at all, and now here he is in front of his hometown, and he looks really good, really relaxed out there. This is a different-looking run for Greg Nelson. A lot of rolls. I'm really used to seeing Greg doing 540s and helicopters, but look at how simple that is. He ends his run on a switch stance roll, and Greg's got to be stoked with his first pass. I mean, that looked really simple, very smooth. And you know, you could hear the locals really rooting them on there, too. That's a nice roll to Reaver for Greg Nelson. Lands out in the flats. You know, Greg really has a different style, but today he looks a little bit more conservative. He really wants to stand up his pass. Gets a good carve into the wake. Nice tantrum right there, grabbing it in deep. And how about the total numbers? The first pass, well, it's up to 7,790. That's a nice pass, certainly not one that's going to win the competition, though. Here is his second and final pass behind the Mastercraft. Well, Greg started out with the big front flip, then right into a front roll. There's a backside roll for Greg Nelson. Now pay attention to that freestyle clock with only 10 seconds left. Greg's got two chicks left, and there's the Scarecrow taking his time here. Big carve and nails it. The Tampton to Frankie holds on for Greg Nelson. All right, Greg. Just barely holds on and looks up to say, hey, what happened there? He's glad he pulled it out, but he had a little problem there at the end of his run. No problems here, though. Well, you know what? I think people get freaked out about competitions. I mean, there's so many people watching you. This guy's used to just free riding for fun. So there he is. He stands up his pass and he goes, hey, I can do this. This is terrific. Good pass for Greg Nelson. Little salute to the crowd, the local crowd once again. Another decent score, 7,503 points for a two-pass total of 15,293 points. This is the Outdoor Products Wakeboard Championship from Seattle, Washington. The Emerald City, the final stop of the Bud Wakeboard Series. This is Kobe Mikasich, a diamond in the rough, if you will. Get it? Emerald City. Tony, oh, like that? Dan, you're getting really punny here. <laughs> now look at Kobe Mikasich has really been charging on tour lately. He's performing really well. He looks really smooth, and he really wants to get a victory. I talked to him before. He says, you know, Tony, I think I'm going to get out there and win one today. There's an air roll to Reaver for Kobe. Ooh, a little bobble right there. He's still got time on that freestyle clock. And the Mobius. Yes, Kobe holds on to a switch stance Mobius. That's 1,600 and 50 points, and that's the most difficult trick out here, and Kobe nails it. He's going for it today. You know how he gets a real good carve right there for that air roll to Reaver. The nose of his board almost goes in the water. He's relaxed, though. Gets a nice carve back into the wake. He's going switch stance right now. The hand pass is a little late, slides out, but holds on to that switch stance Mobius, and that's a big first pass. Look at that. Yeah, 10,110 points. A terrific pass for the 23-year-old from Castleberry, Florida. You know what I like about this guy, Tony? I love the fact that he looks like he's having fun out there. Oh, yeah. Kobe looks like he's having fun. And why is that? Because he is. He has a great time out there on the water. Look at the size of that front flip. A huge backside front flip for Kobe. He's so smooth out there today. Front side, roll the reaver for Kobe. There's a Fakie to front air roll, and he goes for the, whoa, he goes oh. for another Mobius, goes oh, for the Mobius. Yeah. It looked like he was out of time anyway. He's down, but he's stoked because he nailed his first five tricks in that pass. <laughs> he's down, but he's up. His emotions are way up. He really had two terrific rides, uh, you know, if you take away that final trick on his second pass. Well, that was a fakie to front air roll, and then he goes for the Mobius for his wild card. Gets a little bit. Yeah, he comes from Canada, but he trains all year in West Palm Beach, and that's really helped him. Now he's back on his way to Canada. He said he's going to do some snowboarding in the offseason, but he's hoping for a victory here today. Big backside front flip for Jeff here. Good carve into the wake. Nice frontside roll to Reaver for Jeff. Moves right into that air fake. He rolled the front. A lot of time left for Jeff. Only one more trick. He really takes his time. And oh my, oh doctor, a backside Mobius, and that was clean. That was with a capital C. Nice job done by Jeff here. Now looking at this Mobius on the slow motion instant replay, the thing that's interesting is 
He doesn't carve that hard in the wake, but look at the lift, look at the air, and look at the handle pass. Very clean technical trick by Jeff here right there, and he's got to be stoked with that first pass. Well, he thrusts his finger in the air as if to say he's number one, and with 10,207 points for his first pass, that is indeed good enough to put him in first place for the time being. This is his second pass, and he starts it off in a big way. With a big air railing. Now, that's what I was saying. Now, see, with these tricks right here, with the fake he rolled the front, he gets a good wide carve into the wake, but then on the Mobius, you have to go more control because it's a more technical trick. There's a backside method front flip. He's got six seconds left. An air front flip, he nails it. That's his pass. Will he go for a wild card? No, just a simple air to fakie. But Jeff here, that's his best. I've seen him ride all year. Watch this, he gets a good, nice air on this backside method front flip. Lands it perfectly, really clean rotation. He's really relaxed. Gets a nice carve off the wake to help him with his air trick. Air front flip, no grab, but still clean a little bit far forward. But I'll tell you, Jeff here, two good passes, 9,673 on his second pass for a total of 19,880 points. I tell you, Jeff here should get extra style points for that hair. His hair is happening for here. Here are the current standings, by the way, in the Mastercraft Pass on the wakeboarding competition. Jeff here with that terrific 19,880 points is in first place. But on the water right now for the first time since the first stop in Orlando is Jeremy Kobach. Those who have been following the tour know that Jeremy hurt himself, actually had a stop outside of the tour. It was the Masters. He broke his ankle. He has done a terrific job to get back behind the boat and compete at this final stop in Seattle. Well, Jeremy is one of the cleanest, most consistent riders when he's not injured, but he has been injured a lot, and hey, that's cost him a lot this season. His season's really not been there, but he wants to come back strong, and he looks like he has a good pass right now. Look at how huge he goes on that Mobius. Man, he lands a Mobius way out in the flats with a lot of time to spare, and if he could put together a second pass like his first, he's definitely going to put some heat on Darren, Jeff, and some of the other riders. You know, you'd think, uh, you'd think that he might be a little bit rusty, but not at all, Tony. Yeah, I mean, big carve into the wake and lands a Mobius further out in the flats than anybody I've ever seen. Well, he's the biggest and the strongest of the riders as he picks up 10,293 points. Welcome back to the tour, he's telling the rest of the competitors. But he's 6'1", 183 pounds. He's really strong. Floats a huge rally, then moves right into an air front flip. Jeremy Kovac throwing in a lot of transitional moves. There's an air fake roll on the front. Oh, he goes down on an easy trick. Maybe that is some of that rust showing through. You know, and you can see how disappointed he is that he's not hurt. He is really disappointed. He knew he had a great first pass, had a chance to actually win this thing, goes down. And this is a trick that I'm sure Jeremy has done a thousand times before. It's an air fake he rolled the front, and he just goes down on it. And it might be because he hasn't been competing lately. And it's got to be disappointing because I know he had two more Mobius as planned for his second pass. And boy, oh boy, that's got to be a bummer for Jeremy here at the last tour stop of the year. Well, he made a statement this year on the tour after really a couple of seasons of high expectations. Ooh, Gator goes down. He's calling for a slower boat speed. Gator goes bigger than anybody. He went huge on that front flip with the grab. But I'll tell you, with the fall right off the bat like that, He's not going to win today. I mean, these guys are riding good. Look how huge he goes, though. Gets a little bit far forward there. Tries to pull it off. You know, he has a knee injury, but still goes down and goes down early. But look at the height. Oh, that is huge. Yeah, I mean, nobody goes bigger than Gator. But hey, he's known as a great free rider. But in contest, you have to stand up. Gator did get a victory in Detroit. And he's been a little bit inconsistent all year, but let's see what he pulls together here on his second pass. Oh, wow. goes down right there on a the back to front roll. And I'll tell you what, a few weeks ago, Gator was down in Mexico with the Jet Pilot Boys doing a photo shoot in the surf behind sea dudes and he was going huge. He told me he was about 25 feet in the air and he tweaked his knee bad. He's been going to therapy, but it looks like every time he lands, it hurts his knee. Let's see what happens. I mean, he, he looks like he's grimacing right there as he goes into the wake. Normally he makes this trick and maybe he just doesn't have the stability in the knee and he goes down and goes down hard and early. Not quite the birthday present he was looking for. Gator just recently turned 19 years of age. He picks up zero points for the final stop out here on the Bud Wakeboard Series. Not exactly the way you want to end your season. 
Oh, a total disappointment for Gator, but he's got a bright future ahead of him in the sport of wakeboarding. Absolutely. Jeff here currently in first place, holding on, but still to come. Keep in mind, Darren Shapiro. And here comes the young man that they call the Scud. 21 years of age, short, compact, with a lot of experience. Yeah, Dan, he's 5 feet 4 inches tall and 140 pounds. I mean, he is compact, and he's got a lot of muscle, as you can see, as he starts off with a nice switch stance rally. Then there's an air roll to front right there. Woo, wow. big hoochie glide right there. Man, oh, man. Now he's carving back into the wake, going fakey. Whoa, a half cap roll right there for Darren the Scud Shapiro. Nice transitional maneuver. And ends it with what else but the backside Mobius. With a lot of time left, Darren looked really smooth, really clean, and he charged out there on that first pass. You know, I know it doesn't count for points, Tony, but I love that surfing style that he brings into his runs. Yeah, Darren actually surfs big surf. He goes down to Puerto Escondido in the offseason. And look at that right there. Nice surf carve right there out in the flat. And then he carves off the wake. He knows what trick he's got to do right now. It's the Mobius. Big air, clean handle pass way out in the flat. Boy, that is a nice piece of work from Darren. Yeah, he just seems to exude confidence right now. I think he believes that he can definitely surpass Jeff here if he gets a terrific second pass. His first pass total was 10,597 points. He needs a nice second pass, and he will pick up the final win here in Seattle. Here he goes. Big, giant, method front flip. Straight into an air method front flip. Just a little grab there. It's a transitional maneuver for Darren. This could be it. The last run of the season. A front side grab. Fakie rolled the front right there for Darren. And an air Mobius. Backside air Mobius. Darren Shapiro takes it away here in Seattle. He just put a big period at the end of that exclamation point and said, hey, I am back and I am not giving up my title so easily. Wow, look at this. It's a really beautiful front side grab. Fakie rolled the front for Darren. Really confident out there on the water. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He looks like he's been training extremely hard. As confident as I've ever seen him. There's a backside air phobias. Nails it. Perfect. Oh, my. Well, Tony, there's been a lot of talk about other riders catching him, and I think he just wanted to prove a point. With 21,240 points in the win, he has done that. Here,